everyone, I'm Christine, the host and producer of Run With It, and I hope everyone is keeping healthy and safe. On this month's episode, I was in conversation with Dr. Jack Taunton on boosting your immune system during the coronavirus. Also, I was in conversation with Jason Beck, curator of the BC Sports Hall of Fame, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's go to our Q&A with Ryan Brown, the wellness coach. Check this out. You cycled across Canada? the time? I uh, cycled across Canada about 10 years after I started college. I had to like save up money for that <laughs> yeah, after college and all that. But, uh, but yeah, not just cancer. I mean like there's other, these other diseases, right? There's like, so many like, uh, you know, um, diseases out there that can be, you know, uh, reversed with exercise or um, prevented like diabetes and a lot of those types of um, so ailments that can, um, yeah, so. Yes, yeah, so and you mentioned lifestyle. It could be simply changing your eating habits and working out. And uh, so, like when you decided to um, make that change to be uh, a fitness trainer, and uh, who was your first client? Oh yeah, um, good question. I my first client, uh, she was a mountain climber. And um, yeah, she started with me in 1998, and she's still doing mountain wow. climbing to this day. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Joining me is Dr. Jack Taunton, a renowned sports medicine doctor. He's a former chief medical officer of the 2010 Olympics, founder of the Vancouver Sun Run, and founder of the Vancouver Marathon. Dr. Taunton has also an impressive running resume, which he has run 62 marathons and has done 30 of them under 2.30. Welcome, Dr. Taunton. It's Jack. Uh, yes. Christine, thank yes. you so You're much. Welcome. You're welcome. I'm so used to calling you, but Dr. Taunton, so how are you? <laughs> how oh, are you, Jack? Not too bad. Not, not too bad. I've been uh, struggling with this uh, migrating bone infection. But uh, anyways, I'm out every day, uh, two and a half, three hours on my poles. I've lost control of my right leg, but um, uh, I'm out there every day. That's really and uh, this leads into... Uh, with the coronavirus, everybody's wanting to know, can we exercise? And the answer is definitely yes. And um, why? And the why is because aerobic exercise stimulates your immune system. And, uh, and we want that to occur. If you do become exposed to uh, coronavirus, which is uh, Unfortunately, uh, numbers are uh, increasing. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and, and if you look at what are the most significant factors in terms of leveling out and, and reducing the uh, incidence of uh, coronavirus, um, social distancing is up at the top of the list. Don't travel as another one, and as we all should know, um, hand washing frequently. Mm -hmm. And so in terms of exercise, that social distance is two meters. And whether that be, and the best activities are aerobic, so that could be walking, or like with me, pole walking, could be cross-country skiing, mm -hmm. it could be cycling, uh, certainly uh, running and um, could be uh, a single kayaker uh, or a single uh, rower, scholar. Mm -hmm. uh, but the important thing is that two meter uh, distance between you and your walking mate or you know your running um, you know mate. Um, you uh, want to ensure that. There is no contact, uh, you as the athlete, um, no contact with your face, your mouth, your nose or mm -hmm. eyes, uh, which is very, very important. Some individuals are, uh, when they exercise, cycling or walking or running, tend to spit a lot, and that uh, mm -hmm. is uh, definitely contraindicated. Uh, you, you, we've got to really distance yourself from somebody that 
you know, that does that or avoid that, uh, you know, individual. Um, uh, but cycling is, is fine. Uh, having gloves on probably gives you that much more uh, protection. Um, and the other one that other individuals that may not be into a, uh, a regular, you know, fitness program, but would be golf. Mm. Golf, you're, you're, uh, it's a good distance apart. Uh, you're outside, and where all of these, you'll notice, Christine, these are all exercises outdoors. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you're exercising in a gym, uh, you're too close together, uh, too, uh, it's too uh, confined, uh, there's too much chance of, uh, you know, hand contact uh, with the person that's on the exercise bike or uh, treadmill or whatever, you know, beside, uh, you know, beside you. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this is really important for those that have some chronic infection, like myself right now with this chronic uh, bone infection, or the individual's diabetic. Uh, we need to, these individuals have impaired immune systems, so they need to be exercising. And it's really critical. Uh, if you never did it before, now it's really mm. important to be doing that. Yes. The other areas of concern when we talk travel, but it's uh, now I can't drive. So I have to spend more time on buses and more time on the Canada line where everybody's jammed together. Well, mm. I've got to avoid that. Yes. And um, and the other thing, um, so many people walk with their dogs. Very nice. But dogs transmit coronavirus. So if you're with your dog, uh, you want to make sure your dog, as so many people, they like to kiss the dog or have the dog pick them in the face. Uh, don't. Oh. It, it, it is too much you know, uh, potential for for risks. And uh, the, the vets may argue, well, some dogs uh, are more likely to get involved with coronavirus. I'm just saying, let's just keep it simple. Dogs potentially can transmit it, so no face licking with your friendly dog. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but the simple ones, a good walk, um, uh, with a social distance of about two meters uh, in your group. Um, uh, downhill skiing is uh, is good, but the trouble with downhill skiing, as compared to cross-country skiing, cross-country skiing, you get out of your car and you can basically go off. You don't have to go and uh, uh, get clumped together to get your ticket uh, or clumped together to get on the ski lift. And so skiing, uh, you get certainly protection, you know, from the face shield that many skiers ski with and gloves. Mm -hmm. But the big problem with uh, skiing, and, and, and now uh, it's getting more harder to find, a, you know, a ski resort that's not closed. But cross-country skiing and uh, snowshoeing are, you know, are, are certainly uh, good activities. But again, uh, You've got to stay away from uh, groups where, where you don't have the opportunity to uh, uh, have that distance of two meters uh, between yourself and uh, an, another individual. And, and, and I know that uh, my wife has just come back from, uh, went in early, so she didn't, there wasn't the mobs for shopping, mm -hmm. but there are too many people that are uh, behind you in the checkout line, and they're right behind you. Uh, th th you've got to uh, nicely just turn around and re and remind them about the importance, and it's critical importance in terms of social distancing. Mm -hmm. And that occurs in a you know in a restaurant. And I know more restaurants are closing. But uh, restaurants, they have to spread the chairs out. And if you go into a restaurant or a pub and you find that you're going to be right up against somebody, talk to the owner, talk to your server, look. And by now, they should understand the term social distance. But if not, just say, look, with this virus, we need space. Mm. And uh, so that we're not 
uh, on top of each other. But uh, exercise outdoors is important. And the most important thing besides all of the other cardiovascular benefits um, and benefits to prevent, uh, you know, and reduce the chance for cancer, and, um, but it's the importance of regular exercise stimulating your immune system to deal with this nasty virus which um, has such a high contagious rate yes and so you want your immune system uh, at its best yes and what about doing some gym workouts like in in your home would that be well you could do that for mm -hmm. sure okay. you know so if I just had a, a note from a friend of mine as I uh, told him I said you know be safe uh, follow uh, precautions and um, exercise and uh, you know improve your immune function and he came back and he said Jack uh, and this fellow is a you know a hardcore cyclist he says I have just moved my gym into the garage and that's where my gym is I've got an exercise bike there and I got some free weights and so uh, that is uh, that is fine Mm hmm I mean working out or is really good for your mental health too because oh it, yeah, it's, yeah it's critical yeah and it's critical for because people get depressed during this period of time they get anxious and uh, you know in, in terms of uh, we just opened our chronic brain uh, disorder gym I was lucky enough to get a from a dear dear friend a million dollars and we just mm -hmm. opened this uh, along with Don McKenzie's cancer gym out of UBC and the Al McGavin Sportsman's, uh, you know, center. And, and this is for Parkinson's, MS, Alzheimer's, mood disorders, depression, anxiety, and individuals that have got ongoing chronic symptoms from concussion. And what is the basis of this program? Exercise, mm. mindfulness, and music. Oh, that's wonderful. And, uh, and all of those improve brain function. We're going to have to talk about that uh, again for you to come back, um, Jack. You know, I I so appreciate you know speaking you know about um, what we can do to exercise, where we can go, but it has to be two meters, right? Again, at least two right. meters. Okay, yep. and that can be maybe hard to do when the maybe the parks or trails are very busy <laughs> so maybe do it in the morning or in the evening or when there's yeah, or go on the seawall yes. where you, you hopefully can you know contain that uh, distance but as you say um, uh, that uh, narrow trails are you'll have to look for you know certainly for wider trails and mm -hmm. I know like Peter Butler is just stopped although he's, he's encouraging everybody to exercise you know, on their own, but for his run uh, classes that he's very well known for, um, that uh, they've had, to, they've canceled them and just encouraged, gave it, it's given everybody training workouts. And uh, if you are going to train with somebody, make sure you got that that social distancing. Yes. And uh, the the top three again, not traveling. Mm -hmm. No flights. Um, social distancing and hand washing are the three most important things. And for us, uh, and I would add equally as important, is regular aerobic exercise to stimulate your immune system, to prepare you for that inadvertent exposure. Because at times you will... Um, they just walk into an area that somebody has just walked through, and uh, that um, uh, that your immune system is uh, must be um, on top. Mm -hmm. It must be in, in good shape. And, and exercise is one of the best ways of improving it. And don't touch your face. Right? Don't <laughs> just do not. Yeah. Yes. And so some people. Um, and, and we got our, our young grand, granddaughter, and she constantly is sort of sucking her thumb. Uh, she's got gloves on now, all the time. Mm -hmm. 
No, and, that's... Uh, so many people have sort of, a, a, you know, they're, they're thinking, so they touch their nose or they touch their face, uh, and uh, that is a risk factor. Yes, thank you. And washing your hands regularly, especially if you inadvertently did that, uh, went and touched your nose or your eyes. Hmm. So. Thank you, Dr. Jack Taunton. I really appreciate your time, and um, and we'll, we'll we'll speak again. So we uh, will. We yes, will for sure. So st stay healthy, everybody. Exercise, yeah. get that immune system, and remember that social distance, two meters. Thank you. Here we are at the BC Sports Hall of Fame and we have Jason Beck, curator and author. And he's here today to talk about where we're standing, the exhibit. So tell us about it. Yeah, we're, we're standing in the It Takes a Village uh, special exhibition here at uh, the BC Sports Hall of Fame. And this is on the 1979 Vancouver Whitecaps uh, who won the Soccer Bowl, the North American Soccer League Championship in, in 79. Um, probably to this day, still the most significant uh, team championship that a BC team has won. Wow. Tell us the process in getting this exhibit ready. Yeah, it was. this was a process. Um, <laughs> we thought we had a larger window um, uh, to put the, the gallery together and it was all predicated around a, a reunion that the team members were going to have as part of last season. Um, originally the reunion game was going to be in September and they pushed the date up to May, May. which meant it so shrunk our, our installation <laughs> window down almost by half. Um, so, but we did, we, we still were able to, to, to put together a, a really great gallery. Um, we worked with the Whitecaps on some of the video and the graphics. Um, artifact acquisitions came in from around North America and um, you know, it, it's, it, if you're a, a soccer fan or if you're a Whitecaps fan, you'll love it. If you're just a sports fan, it's a, it's a great story. So many characters on this team. Wow, and what can people expect when they come in? It takes a village. Well, it, 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 one of the things is we talk about that story. It, it was kind of a, 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 an underdog team of characters that came together and they, they took on this, the, the New York Cosmos, which was like a, a big team from a big city, had a lot of money. And, uh, and then um, made it through them, went to the final, uh, beat the Tampa Bay Rowdies. So there's a, a great underdog story there. Lots of artifacts from, the, from that, uh, that season, that series, including the, the original Soccer Bowl trophy. Um, there's video, um, archival video, that um, most of which has never been seen publicly, as well oh, as a, 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 a group of photos um, from Kent Kalberg that um, he covered the team, and most of those haven't been seen publicly. So it's a lot of um, behind the scenes, a lot of a lot of um, historic uh, history around that team. Yeah. So, do you have a favorite one? I think my, my favorite item in the gallery is, is the Soccer Bowl trophy. Yes. Um, it, it's the original trophy that they paraded around Giant Stadium uh, when they when they beat Tampa Bay, and then they brought it back to Vancouver, and they had this massive parade. Um, about a hundred thousand people were in the streets, uh, and it just it was, sounded like everybody went wild for for the Whitecaps for mm -hmm. uh, for days after. Wow, and it's, it takes a village and it looks amazing. We're going to have to take a look around, Jason. And if people want more information, where can they go? Uh, they can go to our website, uh, bcsportshall.com. Um, uh, we're open uh, during our winter hours, six days a week, Tuesday to Sunday, um, at Gate A, a BC place here. And uh, um, yeah, it, th that's just one of about 15 uh, galleries that we have, uh, so you can easily spend an afternoon here. Like the Hero and You, there's a program, right? We, to we, with that. <laughs> yeah, we, and we also have our Hero and You education program. Um, it comes around to schools, occasionally we have presentations here at the hall. Um, our honoured members uh, talk about sport and, and, uh, and lessons that you can learn from, from sport that you put towards uh, everyday life and, and, uh, and goals and career and that sort of thing. So. Wow, thank you so much You're for welcome. coming on the show and we'll have you come back and I'd love to. And if you've never been to the BC Sports Hall of Fame, come and check it out. And we'll be right back after this break. If we're together now, we're gonna be even stronger in the future. <laughs> My name is Vonda Borian, I'm the owner of Rackets and Runners. Rackets and Runners has been in existence uh, for over 40 years. We're a family-owned and operated business in, uh, right in the heart of Vancouver on Oak Street and West 23rd. Our specialty is racket uh, sports, uh, which includes tennis rackets, squash rackets, pickleball paddles, 
but we offer as well a, a great selection of running shoes and shoes for walking and other fitness and sport endeavors. Our store has always been about community and it means uh, connectivity to our community and uh, that means through good times and, and bad. So we're certainly in a moment of uncertainty and crisis and uh, the impact on, on the business has been, has been drastic, meaning uh, our sales have gone down tremendously. Uh, in addition, uh, we have had to have uh, our employees that would normally uh, have very healthy employment with us are, are now having to, uh, to stay at home. And, uh, and so it's been a very, very challenging time. Ways that customers can support the store is uh, not to forget that we, uh, we are here for them. Uh, there are options. And we may not have online shopping at the moment, but uh, we can take it old school a la 1978 when we first came into uh, to business uh, here in Vancouver, that people can call in, they can email us, and, uh, and certainly if they uh, feel it's appropriate and safe, they can come into the store and we will, we will take care of them. So my, uh, my hope for the future is, the, uh, is that the store continues to be a, uh, a source of, of optimism and uh, inspiration. And as, as we move out of this, uh, it's important that, that uh, that we do it with sport and fitness. It's, it's going to be going to be one of the, the ways that'll get us back to uh, you know whatever normal may be in the future. I meditate with the Bravo Housewives oh. and wine. But <laughs> aside, aside from that, no, I yeah, I feel I, I definitely do try and meditate. Um, I got to be honest. Yeah. I don't do it every day, but but I'm getting in the habit of doing it, and it yes. totally helps just being able to ground yourself. And mm -hmm. I do meditate a little bit when I have time, uh, but the time is of the essence right now yes. in my household. Yeah. But when I do, uh, I feels That's it always feels good. I'm a spinner. I like to. Sp I'm a, Ooh. I like oh, going to spin yes. class. I get. I'm. I'm an Aries, so I'm very ragey. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have a question or comment about today's episode, go to our website on the screen. Until next time, run with it. Run with it is sponsored by the BC Sports Hall of Fame, Ryan Brown, personal trainer and wellness coach, and Mallory's Fashion Network.